Well, today's reading, the first one, may be a little confusing. Why is Paul so upset, and why is he berating St. Peter, of all people, in public? And it had to do with Paul's mission to the Gentiles with the sense that it was fine for the Jews who followed Jesus to continue their practices, their, uh, all the laws, the, the Levitical laws and those of Deuteronomy. It was fine for the Jews who followed Jesus to observe all the cleansing and washing and especially the dietary w laws. But Paul was, was certain that God did not want the new converts, the Gentiles, to follow all those laws because they needed to stay always centered in Christ. And that because all are forgiven, uh, that, that Jesus and his forgiveness would become the center of the new movement. And that grace comes freely and is not earned. An important emphasis. St. Peter, however, felt obliged to in line with his fellow Jews when they came, and although he had been eating with the Gentiles and not observing kosher, he felt when his fellow Jews were present, he had to sit with them. What's something that's comparable to today? Obviously, we recognize that different pieties and different spiritualities um, need to be respected. Uh, especially among us, among Catholics and Protestants and the Orthodox Christians, we all have different ways to Jesus, and we're really not called, as Paul did at his time, because the context was different, to be berating people because they're not coming to Jesus the way we prefer or the way that we are used to. What Paul had was an urgency to to spread the word to bring Gentiles to the gospel. Ours, however, is a different time and context. We're called to be reverential, reverential and respectful to all the forms of Christianity. At the same time, we cultivate a deeper appreciation of our own. We're not here to fight wars, the religious wars. Hopefully the time has passed. We're here to affirm our centrality in Christ.